Welcome to the channel. I thought I'd share with y'all my latest range improvement, which is going to be a concrete pad for the double Texas Star. And I've got a hole dug out for it. I've got a frame made for the concrete. And I'm going to be putting some gravel in here, leveling everything up, and uh, pouring the concrete. tamped down and the form leveled. Next up is pouring up some concrete. Just on the quick crete calculator I need six 60 pound bags of concrete. I'm going to mix them up in small batches. Now bag number two. I'm hoping to be able to do two runs down with three bags in each run, but I might not have enough room in the pan for that, but we will see. I've got the trailer backed into position and the pan. Gonna use that as a lever off the trailer and just pour this in. I don't have a tripod set up, so I won't be able to get this on camera, but I'll show you the end result. The first three bags of mix are in, and I added some uh, concrete wire into the mix here. I don't know if you can see it. I've sunk it down in the middle, so that'll help strengthen the pour. And I also uh, took the hoe and vibrated the edges to make sure that it filled in everywhere nicely. So let's go get another uh, mix and pour them in and uh, level this out and we'll be done. The next pour, I have a screed board ready to level everything out. And we're going to work on uh, getting this smoothed out and into all the edges, and we'll see if we need to mix up any more. The calculator on the Quickrete website is pretty darn accurate, so it's going to take about another half a bag more. I'm going to go up, mix that up, and uh, we'll finish this project off. I just dumped the last pan of concrete, going to screed it out and get everything smooth. I used the float and got the everything smoothed out on top and this is gonna I hope make a nice home for the double Texas star the dimensions that I used are 34 by 32 that should be perfect for the base of the Texas star I may bolt it in the feet on this have notches and we'll see gonna see how stable it is without doing that but if I uh, if I do, I'll share that with y'all. I'm going to allow the concrete to cure for a couple days, then I'll move the star into place. And if I end up liking that, I'm gonna do another form for the dueling tree and the single Texas star. A couple days have passed since we did the pour. I've let the concrete cure and I have the Texas star mounted and I could not ask for more. It is very very stable way more stable than it was just resting in the dirt and really wasn't a bad project at all i think it's going to be great as far as keeping the weeds down around the target and uh, just make for a really nice addition to the range one thing i am going to do is give it a few more days maybe even a week or two before i shoot at it because That'll allow the concrete to harden even more, and uh, that way we won't have any chipping from the plates falling on it. But uh, certainly a nice upgrade here to the range. I want to thank you for watching.